This is the amplifier uh, keying jack. This is where we connect for cat control and amp control. And because I'm not able to plug in the speaker mic as well as the amp control or the cat control uh, plugs at the same time because it interferes, it's not designed well. I thought of taking the output of the amp control and that is the pin. This is the pin. Uh, the remaining pins, so one is here, one pin is here, sorry it is out of focus, one pin is here and the other pin is, pin is on the other side. Those are for the cat control. At the moment I don't plan to do any cat control but I am interested in the amp control for a linear amplifier. So I am taking connection from there and I drilled a hole here because there was no way of taking uh, uh, the wire to the top side to connect uh, to you know solder it to a connector and the only other hole available is here which is for the spare or a different uh, package final transistor but that will be a very long run from here and crossing all these I didn't want that so that is the reason and in one corner knowing very well that there will not be any uh, internal tracks I drilled a hole very small hole now I'll be connecting it to uh, the connector which I'll show you in a moment. So on the top this is how it is. So this white wire is coming from the bottom. Actually you cannot see the connector here it's at the bottom I'll show it in the next uh, view and that is going to the center and this is an RCA connector and the ground I just took it in, uh, and then soldered it here to the solid one. And the reason why I have used RCA is most of the older rigs, I do not know about the, the newer rigs, at least the classic rigs all have RCA output for amp control. And because I have made a homebrew control box for controlling, uh, you know, from six, uh, six rigs, I can control up to about four amplifiers <coughs> at any given time and all have RCA. I have actually added RCA jacks there. So this is how it is. And that is the reason to keep it standard, I connected there, uh, I made a provision for the RCA. Essentially this is how it looks from the back. So as I said this is the PTT out, CAT plus PTT out, so one of the contacts is for PTT out. That is the contact I have taken underneath, routed it on top by drilling a hole as you saw and then connected to the center pin of this RCA. It is now connected to the amplifier, you can see the or see a jack here. Now this is going to the, this is the control box I have. Uh, this is not only a control box for uh, other amps like uh, this one, but uh, this also controls the Furuno. This main control is for uh, Furuno. As you can see, there's a BCD controller here, and uh, based on the BCD number, it changes the band on the Furuno, which is mounted at the back, uh, back of this table. So now I am on. Uh, Number 2 BCD which is uh, for the 40 meter band. I am on uh, 7048. I am now connected to a dummy load on 40 meters. And now I will switch off my, this is the control for the amplifier. I will switch off the amplifier. This meter indicates the power between the rig and the amplifier and that meter indicates the final power from the amplifier but right now since the amplifier is not linked because I switched it off here there is no power coming from the amplifier that is the reason it is in the 200 watt scale and it is just about five watts now I'll switch on the amplifier And with that, <clears throat> because of the matching here, it increases to 6.4 watts. And here you can see, it's in the 200 watt uh, scale, this one. So you can, it will peak up about 30 watts, 30 watts PEP. That's my linear control.
using the uh, micro SDX plus thanks guys for watching